Uh, hello, my name is Mr. Leo. I am an art teacher and a studio artist here in Mira Mesa. And today we're going to draw Bob Ross. And we're drawing Bob Ross because it's Earth Day. It is April 22nd. So it is Earth Day and Bob Ross has become a, a, a very popular character that, um, that promotes painting. And not only does he paint, he, uh, he paints nature scenes. Hey, good morning. And so, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna draw Bob Ross, but using simple shapes. And, uh, yeah, Bob Ross, he, he has a real appreciation of, um, nature. If you guys have ever watched him, he really enjoys painting his happy trees and his mountains and his skies. So uh, I think he's a relevant person to draw today for Earth Day. And by the way, happy Earth Day, guys. Okay, we'll switch our camera to our paper. We'll be using the same tools as always. I know sometimes we get, um, we get some color on there, but mainly this is a drawing class. We need our pencil for sketching. We need our markers for drawing. I have a Sharpie marker here and an ink pen here. And then an eraser to erase our sketch. Yeah, so there are a lot of artists that appreciate the beauty of nature and the earth. And Bob Ross is one of them. I also like Monet. Who else is one? I guess Van Gogh is a is a pretty neat one. Maybe all the impressionists, huh? Okay. Well, we'll get started, and let's go from the center. Thank you, Brooklyn and DJ. Happy Earth Day. Yeah, let's let's start from the center. Let's move to the right a little bit, and we're gonna make a rectangle. Now, when I was growing up, uh, I used to watch Bob Ross's. Uh, painting shows and I learned how to dab those uh, tree leaves so this is kind of fun that I get to draw with uh oh nope oh. all right so we'll keep it simple just a rectangle right and we're just sketching first because we're just figuring out the shape even if we make a bunch of lines, it doesn't matter as long as we figure out what we want. And when we want the lines we want, we can press a little harder so we can get the lines we know we want. Because sketching is just about finding, right? It's only DJ now. Hey, DJ. Okay. Let us make another rectangle and these rectangles are vertical and they're long and we'll do another one on the other side yeah so Bob Ross has become really popular over time and I guess it's because his works are very inspirational He just wanted to share the love of painting. And I guess that translates to his viewers. And I think it's important to draw or paint the things you love. That's why Bob Ross can do it so freely and, and do it so well, because he practices it all the time. Okay. Anyway, let's make a circle for the joint. This is gonna be where Bob Ross's shoulders will be. So we've done this before, right? When we were making a figure. So let's make some shoulders. Okay. Let's make another rectangle from those circles. Hey, 
Let's make another rectangle. Okay. Just gonna be a few more rectangles, guys. Okay, sorry, um, I think I think my dog got out. One moment. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry, sorry. Hey, get over here. Inside. Oh, okay. Sorry, you guys. My, uh, my dog got out, but he's back in. So let's let's continue. All right. So Bob Ross always holds a big, giant um, palette. Palettes are the things that hold an artist's colors or paint, and a palette is just. I would say it's a bean shape, but it's kind of like a bean on the top and then on the bottom, it's really round and big, like a shield, like Captain America's shield. Whew. So let's shape that palette out. Whew. Oops, it was getting cut off. Sorry about that, guys. All right, next thing we're gonna do is a palette has a hole usually uh, down where uh, the thumb would go. So let's make a circle down here for the hole. And this groove is actually where the shoulder, or not the shoulder, sorry, uh, this part. The curve of your arm, that's where the palette rests, and then your thumb comes out of that circle. Kind of like a lily pad, yeah. Yes, DJ, like a lily pad. I like fat bean better, but yeah, I could see that it looks just like a lily pad. <laughs> fat bean, all right. Let's just give, um, well, let's, let's work on Bob Ross's face. Let's first make a neck. We don't want to forget the neck. And the neck will just be a rectangle at first. And then let's make a square for Bob Ross's head. And let's give him a little curve right in the center for his nose. And this is the fun part, I think. First, from, okay, so find the center of the square. And then I want you guys to make a circle for his afro, see? And we're just sketching this afro it's just a circle, right? Now we're gonna make some uh, curves along that circle I made. That way we can make the afro look more um, shapely. There. It's a very characteristic look that Bob Ross has, that Afro shape. Okay. Next thing is, I think I want to give Bob Ross some of those cutesy eyes we like 
to do. So just big circles. And then we'll do the circle on the side. And then we'll do that circle on the inside. Mm -hmm. He has a square shaped head for now. And let's make Bob Ross's ears, guys. So let's make, uh, let's have them uh, parallel to where the eyes are. So just a curve here and a curve on the other side to make the ears. And then we'll just have the apro kind of curve in just like that, just two, two curves. So it looks like those ears are within that apro. The next thing we gotta do is give his, uh, we have to give him his beard. All right, so beard will just be a line from the center of the curved nose we made here. And then let's make a curved line that goes down on each side. Then a few curved lines that go down the length of his face or the square. Then it's just a mustache now, but we have to make a beard. And the beard is pretty simple, so we'll go down the length of the square, and then we'll create some of those curves going down. And from the top of the square, we can shape it a bit more by making curves up top, see? And we can give him a little smile inside his beard. Good. You know, let's not forget the eyebrows. Since we're here, he can have some eyebrows. So these are just upside down bean shapes. And I think that's a good Bob Ross face so far. Now we can do the rest of his, oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's do his collar. So his collar is just a diagonal line that goes out from his neck, and then a diagonal line that goes in. Diagonal line once more. And then we have to create his neck. So his neck will be rounded on the bottom like this like how we do our cone shapes, but the bottom only. So let's make his neck rounded. And then I want you guys to make a triangle from here, right? And let's get that line, let's bring it down. Let's give him some buttons, maybe two, one. Two, they're just circles. And let's give him some pants. Bob Ross can't paint without pants or else he uh, his show would get canceled. So let's let's give him a belt. And a belt will just be a line that goes across and another line that goes across that's parallel to the line that we just made. Then a box in the center and another box or square in the center of that so we can make the belt buckle. And I'm gonna put some, two lines here to show where the jeans kind of connect around the belt. Okay, so the rest of this is just pants, guys. This is gonna be all pants. And I'm gonna make a line that goes in between here and then a rectangle. So that, that kind of has that like jeans uh, patterning because that's like where it's sewn. He's getting very Bob Ross-like, huh? And let's not forget his thumb. 
you should have a thumb. And we'll just make an oval coming out of that uh, circle. We're doing good so far, I think. And for his shoes, we could just make some triangles. See? Just triangle shoes. I don't think Bob Ross wears fancy shoes, so just triangles. And let's put some uh, paint blobs on his palette. So paint blobs would just be wavy lines that connect. See? We can color these later so they look more interesting. So wavy lines. And th they could maybe be different colors, right? So those are paint blobs. And then we'll make another shape which would be an oval for his other hand here. And then we'll draw a circle. And let's draw some, another oval, but a long one. This is gonna be his paintbrush. What's Bob Ross without a paintbrush, right? Let's draw a few lines on the tip where the paintbrush connects the, the hair, or the stick connects the hair of the paintbrush. And then for the tip of the paintbrush, I think it's roughly a, like a teardrop shape, but it's curved on the top. Or like a paisley, if you guys have ever seen a paisley. And let's now do the fingers. So we need to show that that is grasping the paintbrush Hey, DJ, you're, you're on a different computer? Cool. All right, let's do these fingers. So just a rectangle to show the thumb. We could draw four more rectangles here to make it look like it's grasping the paintbrush. See that? Four more rectangles for each finger. There. Very simple. I think this is the simplest way to draw Bob Ross. And you know what else we could draw? Because it's Earth Day, we could draw a happy tree right next to Bob Ross. And we will draw the happy tree in triangles. So we'll draw one triangle here. We'll draw another triangle here. And then another triangle below that. See, so they're just triangles, right? Three triangles. And this one's a little bigger, the one on the bottom. And then as it goes up, it gradually gets a little smaller. We're probably just gonna use the contour of these triangles. And below this, we're gonna make a rectangle except on the bottom, I want it to be rounded. Just so it gives it a little volume so it's not so flat, right? Okay, and that's a tree, but I want, I want this tree to be pretty happy. So the way we make that happy is if we give the tree some big old eyes, just like Bob Ross, we'll make two circles on each side Circle in the center, gives them that cutesy eye, and then just a big happy face, or a small one right in the center. And I'll even give it some uh, eyelashes. So that's a happy tree next to Bob Ross for Earth Day. Oh, thank you, DJ. Thanks for joining me today. It's nice to draw Earth Day stuff with you guys. This is a good uh, recommendation. All right, so that's our sketch of Bob Ross with the tree. Let's put away, with a happy tree, let's put away our pencils 
And let's get a marker out, and we're gonna we're gonna trace a lot of these lines. So I want you guys to follow along. I think I will start with Bob Ross's eyes. So they're just circles, and then the circle in the center. Pretty simple. A curve for Bob Ross's nose. Upside down beans for his eyebrows. I'm gonna work on his beard now. So first those curves going out from his nose. More curves down below. And then I'm going to follow along the length of his boxy face and then go do these uh, curved lines below his beard. Oh, bye. Have a good Earth Day. Thanks for coming. Let's go ahead and make more curved lines here below Bob Ross's beard. And we'll just end it there and follow his boxy face. We'll draw the curve of his ears. We'll draw those more curves where his afro is, where it hides the top of his ears. And from up there, we'll continue his boxy head. And let's create some more curves to where the afro connects the top of his head. There, that's Bob Ross's face. Oh, I forgot his smile. Now let's draw Bob Ross's afro, his signature afro. Inside, he hides the secrets of the earth, All right? Or another palette. Maybe he carries his easel in it. Okay. There. Let's continue down the neck. So it'll be curved. I don't want to connect it here. I'll just continue it down here where it opens. Let's finish up each collar while we're here. Let's draw this line all the way down below. Two circles for buttons. All right. Now let's continue Bob Ross's shoulders. Just a line horizontally. Go around the shoulders. And then that rectangle is important because that's where he rolls up his sleeves. And then let's do the other arm. And let's draw this whole huge uh, palette. This lily pad shape, as DJ mentioned. Let's draw a circle where the thumb comes out. Let's draw the thumb. And then we can draw all the little blobs of paint that Bob Ross, is, Bob Ross uses when he paints. Okay. Let's continue on. Let's get that belt buckle. It's just simple four squares, or not four, sorry. Two squares, one square inside, and then a square around it. Then the belt is just a rectangle. Let's leave this part open, because that's where the belt slides through. I guess let's finish Bob Ross's pants while we're here. Let's just follow along the contour of the pants. Let's keep it simple. Bring it up.
So I think Bob Ross was mainly inspired by the landscapes of Alaska, where he was for most of his life. Let's do these simple shoes. There's lots of simple, simple lines. Oh, I forgot this side of his body. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. Let's go around, shoulders. Let's draw that rectangle. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's just where his sleeves are. And let's finish up his shirt right there. And then those ovals, we're not gonna draw the oval, rather we're gonna connect only contour lines. I think it's more important to draw the fingers first so it appears like the paintbrush is being grasped. See? So rectangle fingers, very simple. And then we're going to draw the little oval. The stick and the paintbrush All right, and that's the hard part. That's Bob Ross. The tree is very easy. It's just triangles, right? But we're not closing it off. We're just using, we're just drawing the outline, which are the lines on the outside of these shapes that we made. There's no tricky way to do this. Just lines on the outside and here we can make this line overlap and we can even add a few lines just to give it some texture guys let's add a few lines following the form to give it some tree-like texture and let's do these two parallel lines below the tree and a curved shaped here and don't forget the tree's face. Same thing as the eyes we made before, except this one has three lines on each eye to give it more of a cutesy eyelash appearance. And there. That is Bob Ross with a happy tree for Earth Day. And that'll be our only drawing for today. And please join us again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, where we'll draw some more fun stuff. So happy Earth Day, you guys. Uh, keep drawing, keep practicing. And also, if you'd like to support me, I, uh, I have a Venmo uh, on this uh, link and a website uh, where you can um, maybe buy some of my art. And I also teach online. So thank you guys for joining today. Happy Earth Day. And goodbye. <laughs> Oh. <sighs>